They took so long to like deliberate. They were like holding on multiple. Like, it's like they're trying to figure out what the stage uh, banning like process is. Their bands. Right, exactly. Yeah. Which is funny because like, dude, you guys made it this far into the bracket, only only agreeing to 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 starter stadium or what? Like, I mean, that happens. <laughs> yeah, I know. So there are players who <laughs> will even be like, laughing. there are players who would just like look at their opponent and be like, yeah, starter whatever stadium. you choose, man. <laughs> That's true. We, you do it. I. I I feel like I, I want to be that guy sometimes. I, you know what? I don't want to be that I, guy. I, but I'm like, you know what? I'm trying to win. I'm going to use all, all, every... I am slowly starting to hate Pokemon Stadium I, I, as a no, player. I actually, as a player. I, Commentator, I, I, I okay, love it. So here's, here's the thing about Pokemon Stadium. Everyone's starting on it right now, but it's got like really... It's, it's a really wide stage. So first of all, you're probably not going to want to take zoners there. Right. And then the side blast zones and the top blast zones are smaller. So it's... You're gonna die earlier. It's it's not it's it's not that great of a stage as like a starter if you think about it. But I also like the fact that it's like really wide, so I will start on that stage a lot just to see like pl play the like feel the player out and then and then stand from there. Well, we have the start of our set: Void versus I'm Hip, and uh, Void starting with Wolf. Now, fun fact: Void actually picked up Wolf just so that he could beat. Uh, Shuton at Genesis. Okay. Which means, and if, if you don't know, Shuton plays Olimar. Did he end up playing Shuton at Genesis? Yes. And did he use Wolf? And yes. did he win? Yes. yes. <laughs> so. He went He went Pichu game one, and he lost, and then he switched to Wolf after that, and I believe he 3 0 him. All right, so let's see if that matchup expertise comes into play here. Uh, missed Wolf Flash right there. I guess he was trying to read maybe a jump from I'm Hip, catching him fading back a little bit. Okay, but his dash attack is going to reward in stage control. He tried to get off stage. Oh, that air dodge. Does he have enough gas? Oh, man. Oh, whoa. Okay, no. I love the edge guard void. I mean, teaching me something. I, I definitely, like, know that that's an option. You can dip down low and go for the up B, but it's just so scary. And, like, as you can see, Wolf kind of a sitting duck off stage. Just going to go right into the blast zone. I've been taking no percent. That's right. I'm hip. Scouted out that the second oh. jump was coming. And uh, forward oh. air void out of his second jump. Not going to be able to make it back to stage after that. And the damage just continues yeah. for I'm Hip. 91% practically unanswered. Dashing back and forth. I'm Hip looking for an opening. All right, Blaster coming out. Get Wolf Blaster is a great tool in this, in this uh, matchup. Because uh, outside of the uh, outside of the purple one, if they get too close and they get hit with like the actual the gun, attack, yeah, but, uh, then most Pikmin will just die. Yeah, the gun does have a hitbox after all. So if you're within uh, boxing quarters of Wolf, you will get hit as well. Boyd slowly bringing back the percent deficit, but at this point, uh, I'm Hip has more than doubles the damage onto Boyd and an F smash to take the stock. Right, I'm Hip moving, inching a little bit closer to this first victory here in the set versus Void. Okay, getting the trade right now. These trades going to uh, I'm Hip's favor. All right, two purples and a blue. Really good lineup for uh, I'm Hip, although. Wolf doesn't have too much percent on him, so he's not going to get a a, a um, kill with the blue, but he, he has the extended range, so he can get, start up some combos. Nonetheless, Boyd taking the stock with the back air. Yeah, not taking a lot of percent. Double purple and blue is a great kill setup. Yeah. But when your opponent's at lower percent, we typically see Olimar players opt to like, get rid of one of the purples. Yeah, and, uh, yeah that's true. Pull cycle through another like one, a yeah. red one or a yellow one. Yeah. This is what I was going to say, though. The, it, the, the purples are going to come really clutch for edge guarding Wolf. Those Pikmin tosses are going to be deadly. Yeah, good angle from Boyd. Oh, making it back. But now we oh, see snap. those Sheik Fairs coming into play. Yeah, he's looking really at home right here with his character now. And the, just the awareness from I'm Hip was really showing right there as Boyd down smashed the opposite direction. Uh, hit a Pikmin, delayed it. So if I'm Hip had stayed on the ledge, he would have gotten hit. All right, here's the up throw, throw, and that's game one for I'm Hip. Okay, so game one going to I'm Hip. Even though Boyd is uh, playing his his counter pick for this set, for yeah. the matchup. Yeah, so I mean, by any way logic, right? <laughs> if Boyd beat uh, Shuton with, with this character in this matchup, but I'm Hips winning right now. I'm, I'm Hips better all my right? I guess it depends who you ask. Some people would say that, uh, you know. By Inuit logic, though, that's what I say. 
Are you trying to use the transitive property? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the transitive property in Smash? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> hey. By transitive property, yes. Yes. Right. I'm if is better. <laughs> in theory. In theory. On paper. But uh, we'll I see. Mean, it might just be better at this exact matchup. Yeah, we got at least two more games to go, so who knows? I mean, it, it, it's definitely a player matchup. Uh, as you said, I'm hit maybe a little bit better at the Wolf matchup. Which is funny to say because after all, uh, Shuton and Zachary play. Oh, uh, true. I mean, Shuton just might be getting racked by Zachary like yeah. every day, so maybe there's like some mental damage there too. Yeah. But regardless, I'm hip is standing his ground against Void. The purple one landing, just making graves with those purple pigments, keeping Void off stage. A big punish as Void uh, uh, pops up above the ledge. Nice Nair as a great tool. Oh, rolling around the S smash from Olimar. But a jab will sneak its way in. Yeah. Looks like Void is uh, definitely going for a lot of kill moves right now. Not necessarily working out, but maintaining safety uh, by spacing his moves correctly. Wolf has having a lot of kill potential on his moves. <laughs> but also a lot of lag if you if you don't uh, use them properly. That's right. We're seeing a few cross up nares from from Void, yeah. uh, which will make it very difficult for Olimar to get these grads, especially at these higher percents. Ooh, reflected that one back. Get him out of here. Oh, he's, he's looking for the grab. No, throws the blue Pikmin oh. onto Void. Void trailing in percent here, but not really behind by any means as this is a dead even game. Anything is going to kill, and it's going to be that up air. 148% securing the first stock. Looking like he, he might want to sit back and shoot some more lasers now. Yeah, it's looking like that. Okay, now oh. to try and check the field, but ooh, S-Smash was enough even from across stage. No rage needed. Uh, it's interesting that he, he went in for that like aggressive dash attack too. He didn't get punished for it immediately, but with I'm hit at 0%, you can get combo started off of it. I just don't know if it's like that worth Well, big damage for Void. He's able to charge enough smash on that top platform. Now, chasing I'm hit off stage. Void has no fear right now. Dash attacks. Uh, even though they're whipping, they're still putting him in a position where uh, I'm hit at a disadvantage. Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. Catches I'm hit. Run, dashing out and then running right back into the up smash. All right, Void finally securing the lead in this set. Yeah, sitting back, using the blaster a little bit. Getting the Pikmin off him. Also doing damage to uh, Olimar and the purple Pikmin. Yeah, taking a lot of percent from uh, these Pikmin latches. He's gonna drop down. I thought it. I thought it was the downer man. Set himself up to get edge guarded by I'm hip. Still gonna survive nonetheless. That's right, down smash coming out from Void. Oh, oh, he landed on the platform. Where's the doctor at? You're gonna get stretchered right into the hospital. Void taking another game, putting this at an even one-one. Excuse me, his first game of this set. That's very unfortunate for I'm hip. I mean, how how could he have known? I thought the platforms were just disappeared by that point, but it actually like scooped him up and said, "You're coming with me." You're done. <laughs> yeah, it was still it was still in the blast zone, and he landed yeah. in, in the blast zone. Yeah, it was really funky. <laughs> All right, Void gonna stick it out with Wolf, and I'm hit. He does have a lot of characters as well. He has a duck hunt. Um, he has an inkling actually, so he's, he's played that in bracket a lot as well. So I mean, who knows? He doesn't like playing him. Really? I mean, I've seen him use him often. Why not? Maybe he doesn't like it, but he practices it because he knows he's a good character. I thought but he did like it. Does he still have a duck hunt, though? Yeah, I'm sure he does. He likes to play lots of characters. He has a piranha plant. I've heard about it. Maybe we'll see the piranha plant. No, we're not going to see it. Okay, Void just check right there, securing uh, a little bit more longevity on this stock. Okay, up air poking through the ledge. I'm hip, doing a great job of keeping Void away from him. Oh, I like the stall on the recovery. Makes it uh, a little bit easier to tell when safe to uh, go for that ledge. Oh my god, up smash. I mean, look at how low that end lag is. He up smashed, 
Uh, and Void thought he could punish with another smash, and then he's like, nope, I'm gonna throw another one out. I was more worried about Void's shield. Oh, shit. He bounced off and tied up the top. <laughs> Wolf Flash, bro. And to be fair, I'm Hip was at a very high percent. Uh, but that was really worth it for, for Void after oh, he, he was trailing by a little bit. 184, though. That's right. You can see a down throw tech chase. No. Nope. Yeah. And him able to air dodge away, oh, but whoa! Oh my god, what is this turnaround, man? 184 still. Void up by two stocks now. That's right. I'm hit, did a good job in the beginning, putting damage onto Void, but just not able to close out the stock. And as I say, there it goes. Yeah, we can't count I I'm hit out. He's a very precise player as well. Definitely willing to put in the fight till the end. He's looking like the end might come soon for him. And who said uh, Wolf doesn't have combos? That's a pretty, that was a pretty good combo, hey, if man. I may say so. These are good reads. <laughs> okay, up smash to punish. Now keeping uh, I'm hip above Void. Now just trying to cross up in airs. All right. Void yep. trying to approach with that neutral air. I'm hip really ready. Letting go of his shield at the right time to get that parry. And again, he's really proficient with these punishes and down, down air, excuse me. Ah, and able to land the down, the F smash to uh, Bud Stock, but with 150%, you have to wonder, is it too late? Is it too late for I Is Is uh, Boy gonna you know, search for these F tilts? Maybe he's got up tilts. That forward throw just to toss him back off stage, a, a laser to pepper him a little bit. And we're approaching the percent oh. where even back throw is gonna kill. Oh, all right, I'm hip. He's got the two purples. That's right, two purples, but the back throw coming. That's gonna be it. Yep. Even with good DI, that yeah. still wasn't enough to save him. But after all, Olimar, he's a very tiny character. He probably, probably doesn't weigh too much. That's right. That is right indeed. Who's lighter, Olimar or, or Fox? I think it's Fox, right? Um, I can't. Answer that I'm not sure. I know, I know, I know. I would have to look I that know up. Fox is lighter than uh, than Kirby. Really? I believe so. Fox is lighter than some characters that it doesn't. He doesn't seem like he should be lighter than. But that's for another day, man. We got game four. Void up by two. Just one more away from uh, securing his advancement in the later part of this bracket. That's right. Uh, right now, he's chilling on the ledge, getting the... Whoa! Going for the killer move, that up B. Okay, popping up in there, out of shield. Great option that Fox has. Okay, it looked like he used the... That was not the dash extension. He just kind of slid with his up throw. And Void is just all over this stage, making it very difficult for I'm Hip to just stay on the stage. Double up smash isn't gonna work, and now it's I'm Hip's turn to answer back. I'm Hip doing a really good job of it. Avoid with the read, catching the up B, cover all that space, really the, the run back. Still not enough to kill. No, it's not, but now we see those. We see uh, a lot of moves being thrown out by Void. Until again, re allowing him to retake stage control. And he's staying at a position where uh, I'm Hip's aggression won't poke through the stage when he's recovering. The up smash. Almost I'm, enough. I mean, I'm surprised he was able to live for that long, actually, off the ups. And maybe, maybe he uh, had staled it out at this point. After all, he does he does utilize that up smash a lot because of how how safe it is. Yeah. And another short hop in there, uh, really putting the stops to I'm hit. And the back throw. Seven now on Void. I'm hip content to just sit back. After all, he, he knows this is his last chance. He can't really overcommit to anything. He's gonna, gonna make down air. Make use of all six minutes if he needs to. Okay, right. back air is the answer for I'm hip. Right back in it. Only 34 to make up here. Right here, he gets forward air for 17. Okay, a couple up airs, but only one of them connecting for I'm hip. But down air, it's a down smash. Oh, okay. That Pikmin saved uh, oh, I'm Hip a little bit. That was definitely that, that bodyguard Pikmin. Yeah. Dove in the way. Get down, Mr. President. <laughs> oh, my God. The charge down smash. What a threat coming out from Void. 
Uh, luckily, I'm able to stuff it out. Good. That's going to be a tech chase. Good option from Void Catching with the down roller. smash. And then up smash to punish the ledge get up attack. Get up attack. Really good. Able to punish it right out of shield. Oh, that's a dead pick. I'm hip not far behind here, 121. You can get uh, a kill, a little bit more percent. You can get, you can get the grab. You can see he's cycling through. Uh oh, this is perfect for I'm hip right here. Two purples now. The kill throw is on deck with the, the correct combination. But now we see double purple, red, and blue. I mean, red still does a great job of like being like the all-around Pikmin. Yeah. Ooh, good parry. You know, that's something that we haven't really been seeing I'm hip utilize. He usually likes to show off just how good he is at parrying. Yeah. But it just seems like he's not able to get too many of them. I think he's only gotten like two or three in the set. I think that's also a testament to how like Boyd is spacing his hitboxes around uh, around I'm hip and then getting a cross up a lot of the time, making it so that even if he does get a parry, it might not even be worth it for him to do so. Now uh, using the back throw just to get I'm hip off stage, knowing it's not gonna kill. Now we're gonna see another leg strap. Dash dancing. Well, I'm hip able to get back on stage only to get Barret off again. Dash attack connecting for I'm hip. Now converting into a neutral air. Oh, oh my god, alright. These tech chases are kinda wild. I like it because I mean he can catch a roll in and he can catch a roll back with it from that position of the stage. And F tilt's gonna be enough to do it. Void taking the